Yo, what's poppin' guys? And today in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a fractal. Okay? So inherently, if you don't know what a fractal is, it is a shape that no matter how often or how frequently you zoom in on it, it will constantly repeat itself over and over again until the end of time, right? It's an infinite shape, no matter how much you zoom in, it'll stay the same. Boom, there it is. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Okay, anyways, so today we're gonna go over how to do that. So, basically, a fractal requires a lot of math. So, if you're not 100% understanding it, I don't blame you. So, the type of, there are different uh, kinds of fractals. And the one that I'm going to be covering is a Coke, fra is a Coke fractal, um, or a Coke curve, I guess, right? So, uh, I'm gonna start since we're gonna be using pen to do this. I'm just gonna uh, make a new little spread on a little cat boy Sounds a little cat guy. Just gonna be a little dot for like the pen to do its thing Uh, There <laughs> We'll call this the drawer or something. That's not how you spell drawer drawer in fractals There are many iterations typically four. at least for the coat curve. There's four I'll deal with triangles because it's a triangle based fractal so here's what we're gonna do, okay? You come over to your little bit of events and we're gonna grab a little bit of a green flag. We're going to zoom in a bit just so you can uh, see it, okay? We're going to have you point in direction, if I could find that, yep, point in direction 90 to make the stripe point uh, this direction over here, so it'd be pointing this way, which is exactly what we wanted to do. It does that by default anyways, but since we're going to be moving this and turning it, you're going to want it to start facing right regardless. We are going to have you go Okay, so let me just center him, actually. Center the little, 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 little square boy. There we go. Or it's a circle. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. Okay, we got this go to. We're gonna have you go to a negative 240 and a negative 179. That is on the border of this bottom left corner, right down here. Right, all, right down here, all beautiful. It'll be way down in this little corner because that's where we're going to start it. Uh, we're going to add pen. For those of you who don't know how to add pen in 3.0 Scratch, you come down to this little add-ons button, you click that, and then you'll get this little pen. You go ahead and click on that, and it gives you this new little option right here called pen. So, we're going to start by erasing all, because we're starting completely new. And then we're going to put the pen down, meaning the pen is now on the paper, and it is prepared to draw. Uh, we're going to create a block, and this block we're going to call um, create iteration. Because we need to create an iteration of the coat curve, okay? Then we're going to add an input, and this input is going to be length, okay? Because we need to have the length of the iteration. If this doesn't make sense, I don't blame you. The first time I learned it, it didn't make sense to me either. I promise it will. <laughs> well, I can't promise it'll make sense. But, you get it. So, create iteration right here. We're going to put down a 480. Okay, and then we're going to put the pen up. Now, every single time we call create iteration, we need to set up a script for creating the iteration, obviously. So, here's what the iteration means. So, again, you create an iteration once, and then you'll do it again, and again, and again, and again, over and over and over and over and over again. You know, continuously, that gives the infinite fractal thing there. So, define the create iteration length. What we're going to do is going to go up to motion, and we're going to grab move. And we are going to come to our operators and grab ourselves the division symbol. And put it right in there just like that. Now we're going to grab this, this length. Because if you didn't know, you can grab lengths. You can grab these infinitely out there. And you're going to put this first length inside the first half. And then divide it by 3. And that draws just a little bit of a line segment, okay? We're going to come down to motion and grab a turn degrees. Or a turn, this would be left, turn left. And we're going to turn 60 degrees left. The reason we're doing this is a triangle, an equilateral triangle. Uh, which is the one where it's equal on each side, we'll have a 60 degree, 60 degree, 60 degree on each corner. A little bit of geometry for you there if you're not a nerd. Um, so that's the first turn. And the next time we need to, do, well, not next time, excuse me. Now we need to draw another segment. And the way we do that is grab ourselves another move. And we put in, we take this div length divided by three and we put it right in there just like that. We do it again. And now we grab the turn right and we turn right 120 degrees. Because if you have 60, 
uh, if you have a 60 degree here, in order to get to 180, you'd add 120. 180, uh, a 180 degree would be just a straight line, which is what we want. We create the point and then the line. If that didn't make sense, I'm very sorry. <laughs> so you grab another move, and we're going to draw another segment. Obviously, same thing. Just put it down there. And now we need to move another 60 to finish it off. And then we add one more move length of three. There you go. Now you have it. See, it draws you a nice little triangle. Very nice. Okay, that's what it draws you. It draws a triangle. Okay, that's what it does. Now what we're going to have to do is do it again and again and again over and over again. So now we have a triangle with a 60 degree, 60 degree, 60 degree angle, which is what we want. Now, we have to draw a recursion. So, how do we do that? Well, it takes a little bit. What we're going to do is come to our events and we're going to grab our green flag click again. Okay? Then we are going to point in direction. We're going to point in at direction 90 again, just to make sure that it points in the correct direction. Okay? Well... We're adding a recursion. What we added before um, was it was an iteration. This is the first iteration. We need to add a recursion. So let's just set this up. Right here, inherently, is the same thing. We have it do this. We have it go to this place and erase all and put the pen down. Okay? So just for now, I'm going to detach this. I'm going to detach that first script. What we're going to do is we're going to create another block where we make uh, the iteration, make this how many iterations, okay? Because before we just showed how to create an iteration, which was this little thing. Now we're showing how, like, how many and stuff like that. So iteration, um, and then we're going to do of the curve. So we wanna have the, like, what, of the Coke curve with length of, and then input length. Boom. Here we go. That's what you get. So, we're going to do this. We'll do it five times. We'll make five iterations of the curve with the 480, just like we did previously when we created a normal iteration. And then, obviously, grab ourselves a pen up. Now, to define what this big boy means. This big boy is a is a doozy, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna come into our control and I'm going to grab an if else, okay? And inside at the top, we're going to grab an equals and put it right there. Put a one at the end and grab our little iteration bubble and put it in the first half. Then we're going to grab this beautiful boy. Remember this from the last one? I'm gonna put it right in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come into our blocks and take this big guy that we just did you put them right in there. Come over to our operators tab. Grab the subtraction and put it right in that bubble. We're going to grab our aberration bubble. Put it in the first half. And put a 1 in the second half. Then we're going to take this length divided by 3. And this is where we put the length of. With a length of length divided by 3. To make a smaller curve. Okay. We draw the first iteration. Make a smaller curve of it. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. You're doing a good job. Now we grab the turn left, and we'll do the 60. You might realize 60 from the first time we did this. Okay? I'm going to duplicate this that we already have, and I'm going to put it right at the bottom. Okay? Iteration stays 1. This stays 3. This does this, and stays the same. Okay? The only thing we change is change this to turning... Oh, excuse me. Turn right. Clicked wrong. And type in 120. Just like we did before. You realize we're copying it, basically. We're inherently just copying exactly what we did. Okay, with no changes, besides the fact that we're going to duplicate it again. Each time, we just added a little bit of a bigger bit of code besides just creating it once. Okay, very good. You're doing a good job. And then we will end it one more time. So just take that little 60 off and you'll do it one more time. Okay. Let's take a look at what we have now. Obviously, disconnect your first one and just we'll run the second one. Look at this. And it begins creating the coach curve effect. You see as it draws it. There we go. It This is the coke. The co I say coach. It's, it's spelled K-O-C-H. It's not coach. It's coke. The coke curve, you see, it created a bunch of little triangles over and over again. 
Okay, now, you can't see it, obviously, but if we were to zoom in right here, it would go on infinitely. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode, I'm gonna leave uh, episode, like, this is a thing, it's not a thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, then like it, and if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because it was a good time. And also, if you want to just mess around, take this five and make, like, a, a three or something, you can, you get, you get do that, and it just makes it simpler. Like, one... Is your triangle again? It's just an iteration. You make an iteration, you make a second one, and boom. And you could do this like you could do whatever you want, man. You could do whatever you want, dude. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? See that? That's why these are cool. That's why these are cool. Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. While well, you're at, I want to subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content and help me out a lot. Uh, we're growing super quick, and that's really cool. Uh, join Discord link in the description. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to our editor, Coach, for editing this video. Join Discord link in the description. See you next one. Peace. I just realized how much I repeat myself at the end of these. <laughs>